All right, you guys, we are driving all the way up there on Highway 38. That's where we're headed. I wanted you guys to see what the road conditions are gonna look like from driving the bottom all the way up to the top of the mountain to Big Bear, right after a humongous snowstorm. So enjoy the ride and I will see you guys soon. All right, folks, this is the last little preview before we start driving up the mountain. That is where we are going, up where all that snow is and up into the clouds. We are in Yukaipa. Enjoy the ride. All right, you guys, so we're coming up to the bottom of the mountain. We are in Yukaipa. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous view of the very bottom of the mountain, but we haven't entered the San Bernardino National Forest yet. Once we get to this stop sign right here, we're gonna start heading up the mountain. Hope you guys enjoy the ride. It's gonna be beautiful. It's uh, February 9th, 2024. This is right after we got a few feet of snow up in the mountains and we're gonna be going through the highest elevation that you can drive for any of the routes coming into Big Bear. We're gonna hit 8,443 feet. Here we go, this is Lagonia, about to turn into Highway 38 right here. So let's do it. It's 51 degrees here at the bottom. I'm interested to see what it'll be at the top. Welcome to the San Bernardino National Forest, guys. is all for you guys the only reason I'm doing this is because I wanted a lot of you who were nervous to drive up just to see what the road conditions look like because I know many people want to come up and there's many people who are terrified of these mountain roads I don't want you to be afraid I just want you to drive carefully but come up and visit us this is the best way for you to see what's up over here this wash goes all the way up a few thousand feet and when we get thunderstorms and whatnot that thing will be flowing tight because someone wants to pass you and you don't let them pass you just let them pass you can't wait till we start seeing snow for the first time on this road there's that wash right there sign or your, your hazards or, or something 
mountain drivers are just a lot different than I guess the uh, city drivers but show some love for them letting you over because they don't have to but it is the right courtesy courteous thing to do traffic on this road. I think we'll be totally good. riding their bike up this hill. I couldn't do it. You can see some of the fire damage over here from some of the major fires that we've had on both sides. Coming up here on the left and right, you'll, you'll be able to tell. We are just about at the snow line. You can see some snow on the side of the roads now. Look at that, how cool is that? It just slowly creeps up on you. We're getting a couple raindrops over here. Oh, I love it when we start to hit that snow line. On Highway 38, you hit it pretty quickly. checkpoint is probably going to be at the top of this little hill like it usually is though beautiful town of Forest Falls is right through there but we are staying on Highway 38 if you guys want to feel like you're in the Swiss Alps Forest Falls will make you feel like that sharp rugged peaks it just feels like a completely different mountain range my ears are popping already Look at how high up 
we've already gained. I don't know if you can see all the way down there, but we've already gained some significant altitude. Temperature's 40 degrees. Again, parts of our mountain range just got three to four feet of snow. So we're driving up to all of that right now. Where I live, we got just over two feet of snow total. Right down the street at a, a little bit higher elevation, they saw about three and a half feet. Pretty remarkable. drove down highway uh, 18 to 330 right before we came right back up this route I wanted you guys to see what all the roads look like coming up and down the mountain all the roads that have restrictions at least highway 18 up and down to Lucerne Valley no restrictions as of today I think even parts of of yesterday they lifted the uh, chain restrictions getting into the 20s. I'm pretty sure about that. It's already 37. Wow, look at that. Woo! This is my favorite drive, you guys, up the mountain. It's a bit longer, but there's less sharper turns, lots of longer straightaways, less areas to fall off the mountain. And as far as I'm concerned, just a much more pretty drive. It feels like you're driving through a really big mountain range because you're running parallel to the mountains. It's, it's, it's a really remarkable drive. Just so spectacularly beautiful. far so good as I said I didn't expect to see any traffic on here I may have said that in the video driving down highway 18 to 330 that coming up here on 38 probably not gonna have any traffic this is how I planned it and it only took us an hour and nine minutes to drive down from the middle of Big Bear all the way down okay, here's Angeles Oaks we are entering Angeles Oaks chain checkpoint is going to be up here just a little bit.
left hand side your only spot to get gas on all of 38 getting up to Big Bear you should fill up your gas tank at the bottom anyway just in case you do get stuck you want to make sure you have plenty of heat here's the checkpoint it should be right here wow look at that Woo. and yes we are at the checkpoint right here plenty of people you can pay to put on your tire chains See if I can prop this up right here, because I'm probably not I'm supposed to be. If you guys want to do me a huge favor, you can hit the like and subscribe button. It would be very helpful. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you know how much effort I put into this stuff and how much time. It would, it would really be helpful. So thank you ahead of time for doing that for me. And uh, yeah, thank you. miles per hour I'll tell you what I'll be able to capture some great video at this base for sure some spots that I'd usually be driving past without much uh, 
of a way to capture it, we're probably going to be able to capture some really killer stuff on this. So this is awesome. sunglasses so you don't get snow blind it's a real thing you guys the reflection of that sun on this fresh snow can be really really harmful for your vision sound you all are hearing is the beautiful sound that chains make. Click, 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 click. And Big Bear, it gets so annoying <laughs> because it's so much. about to enter one of my favorite parts of this whole drive there's a whole huge area for camping and there's a bunch of campgrounds up here and boys and girl scouts and stuff like that there's a big flat area up here it's, it's just beautiful thirty four degrees as I said we'll probably hit mid 20s by the time we're at the top of onyx summit at 8443 feet Jay Reed Scout Reservation right here. 
I think in sixth grade, my school, we stayed over here for a week for some astronomy stuff. Now we're getting into the bigger snow. 33 degrees. guys remember the Christopher Dorner thing that police officer who went totally rogue and uh, did some really horrible things his final standoff was off this street called Glass Road right here you make a left and that's where he was brought to justice down to freezing guys it's 32 degrees yeah this is my favorite part of this whole drive both the windows down it's just so nice heater blasting with the windows down let me know. I am totally honored to do that. Not just happy to do it, but honored. Just let me know. I'll be back in about an hour.
again straight ahead that big mountain right there big bear is just on the other side so this drive wouldn't take any time if there was a nice paved road but it would be almost impossible to pass going straight up and down so that's why we got to drive all the way out here but it's beautiful it's worth it Look at that. It looks like Denali over here. something else I mean isn't that something else I get to live here it's just amazing hey I'm on highway 38 I'll be back in an hour I'll just swing through okay I hope you're having a great day, brother. All right, folks, now we start making our major climb to the top. So far look fantastic. Not any major issues at all. Again, we're still gonna climb another 2,000 feet. So it could get a little bit worse, but so far so good. Isn't this just heavenly? It's so unbelievable.
going up. some guy going really fast behind me so we're gonna let him go On the front side, there were some pretty sketchy spots. A lot of snow and slush on the road still. Going 27 miles per hour. Enjoying the beautiful sights. Hey, there we go. Hey, thanks guys. It's really nice of them. Should be free and clear from this point on. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's okay though. I want you guys to really see this route. There's a passing lane right up here. It is the smallest passing lane on this whole drive.
always say thank you. So cool, a car full of people right in front of us. It looks like a bunch of kids in the back as well. I can't I can't imagine how excited they must be right now. That is so fantastic. Alright, here's that little passing lane right here. Not much. The temperature is now 31 degrees. This drive is even gorgeous during the summertime, you guys. It's a really nice drive. But you guys are going to be very happy coming up Highway 38. It looks great. Up at Onyx Summit, maybe there might be a couple little issues, but so far it's, it's, it's amazing, actually. degrees. Let's see if we can get down to the 25 that I just randomly guessed at the very top. Yeah, I'm definitely sending you guys up Highway 38. Way safer. Again, wait till you see the other drive that I did going down the mountain. A lot worse. All right, we're at 8,000 feet now. Well, thank you, sir. to really get into a lot more snow. per hour remember you don't have to go the speed limit you guys just drive as safe as the conditions allow you to drive just because it says 55 miles an hour doesn't mean you have to go 55 look at this view I gotta stick my camera out the window for this view
up to Onyx Summit. Maybe we'll hit 27. We just hit 27 as I said that. That's probably as low as we're going. All right, folks, we're at 8,443 feet right here. And now we're dropping into the Big Bear Valley area. That would be fine today. And by the way, all right, so on this side, it is getting a little bit more sketchy. Again, on this side, there are a couple little minor issues, but you're gonna be driving really slow and then, oh man, look at that view, just amazing. Just amazing. This is still the route I will send you guys up and down though for the next couple days. For those of you wondering about the safest route, Twenty-six degrees. Wow, we almost made it down to twenty-five. Again, you can see the desert, that brown area way down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a crystal clear view. Wow, it really is crystal clear. take this video until we get to Big Bear Boulevard.
back up to 28 degrees. By the time we get down here to the bottom, it'll probably be right around freezing. This guy is putting along, holy moly. Two miles an hour. But again, the reason why these roads are so so great guys is because of those snowplow guys and gals. They do an amazing job. They're saving so many lives. Those of you still with me, the one or two of you still with me, don't forget to go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. We're having a sale that ends today. We added a bunch of new merchandise, a bunch of stuff that you guys requested. We have it now. And in the uh, checkout area, if you type in the code STORM, because we had a big storm, type in the code STORM and you will save money. Today, the sale ends at 11.59 p.m. Please help support the channel and save some money. I'd appreciate it. And also, for your ski and snowboard rental needs, you're gonna wanna go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops, one block and two blocks away from the village on Big Bear Boulevard. If you mention my channel, they'll take care of you. And also, if you bring your own skis and snowboards in, they will wax them for free if you mention the channel. The customer service, you guys, is second to none there. You guys will be super stoked. So go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard and uh, enjoy your time up here. Also, if you go to their website, getboards.com, you can save money on lift tickets. I know how expensive lift tickets are, you guys. Any penny I can save you, I am gonna do that. So if you go to getboards.com, 72 hours ahead of the original time you plan on skiing, um, you'll save a bunch of money. If you go to the ticket window the day you plan on skiing, you're going to be paying a lot more than if you go to getboards.com 72 hours in advance. guys think that wasn't too bad right we're back in Big Bear Valley as I said we're just gonna go to, to Big Bear Boulevard and we'll be done I do suggest taking Highway 38 for sure when you see the other video you'll see why look at the donkeys there's a couple donkeys just chilling They are so cute. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. It's 
7,000 feet elevation. I said it would be 32 degrees when we get back down here. I was a little bit off. But maybe by the time we get to Big Bear Boulevard, we'll be at 32 degrees. like a Grateful Dead concert over here. Holy moly. Here's how you get up to Sugarloaf the easy way on Baldwin Road. The other way up is called Maple, but in these conditions it gets really icy and scary. I suggest you drive around to hit Baldwin. again for cruising with me i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the lovely drive this is the most beautiful drive that i get to make in the whole big bear area taking highway 38 from the top to the bottom and vice versa we're coming up to big bear boulevard where i'm going to say my goodbyes you guys have any questions about anything regarding these conditions or the drive please please hit me up I love helping you guys out. I love trying to keep you as safe as possible. So again, do not hesitate to hit me up. That's what I'm here for. Hit that like and subscribe button. I put a lot of effort into this and that little move of hitting like and subscribe would help me a whole bunch. Again, thank you guys very much. We are on Big Bear Boulevard and I hope you have a spectacular day. Welcome to Big Bear.